I was doing Aether, uh, Aether Currents last night, and I finished Shalon, Shalon, wait, what is this area called again? Shalona? Wait, what? Shalon, Shalona, Shalon, wait, how do you say it again? <laughs> I don't know. Hold on, is this too loud? Where is, oh, I think it's too loud. Let me turn it down. Shalom, nine, Anyways, this area, I finished this area. I got, is this where the boss fate shows up, by the way? Because I was like getting the map completely unlocked, and uh, I was like, what is this? Has to be for the boss raid, right? This is where the capybara one is. Yeah, that's the Mount Super Fate. Okay, okay. I assumed, I assumed. I was like, huh, what is this circle? And obviously I couldn't get there until I got all the Aether Currents. But look, it's so satisfying. I got four out of the five areas. Oh, oops, this is... Oh, no, it's fine. Ahem. <clears throat> okay. It feels a little defeating when you die during a raid, though. I've been doing a raid for the first time recently. It's overwhelming. I, I love it, don't get me wrong, but I feel I'm letting my team down by dying a lot. That's okay. Is it like an older raid? Are you are you okay if, like, by watching, like, videos to, like, know how to do it early? Because that, that can reduce a lot of stress, I think. Right? Still, it's one thing watching and it's another thing actually doing, but unless you want to just, I don't know, figure out for the first time, then obviously that's, you know, it's okay. I've been, I've done two so far in my group white once on both. <laughs> Shaloni, <laughs> or not? I think it's me. Crystal t oh, you're doing the Crystal Tower raids. Yeah, there should be an updated guide somewhere on YouTube if that makes you feel more comfortable to look it up before doing it. Um, yeehaw. Like, I totally finished the area. Okay, so yesterday, I don't know, should I work on doing the MSQ? I guess, yeah, I, I will. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> I got to solution nine last night. Um, by the way, did my title update? Can y'all check for me? I got to solution nine last night. A lot of stuff happened yesterday. Um, that was pretty overwhelming, but like always, right? Cause they drop a ton of information. But I love it, love it so far. I love solution nine, love the music in solution nine. I was like just vibing with this song like last night. I just had it on repeat on YouTube while I was trying to find all the Aether currents. Oh, it's so good. But anyways, this is Solution 9. This is the main city of the Alexandrians. Which is uh, the the people that are on the other reflection? Oh my God! There's I don't even know if I want to do a recap because that there's so much to divulge, especially with the um, what are they called? The regulators. The regulators. They basically TLDR. They use old people to come back to life. They use the souls of old people to come back to life. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda. It's like, it's so messed up. But, um, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I also, um, I got help from my friends last night to get the whole outfit that you get from the Vanguard dungeon. So I have a whole set. Except, I think I'm missing the rings. Um, but that's okay. Oh, 670. I guess you are right. It probably would get be easy to get to 685. But not today, not today. What's up, Diaz? Good morning, everybody. I hope you are having a good Tuesday. I hope it's not too crazy today. 
Um, okay, well, what I'm gonna do is focus on the main story as much as I can. We, what did we do? The Queen's tour, oh, we're on a tour, we're on a tour, right. I don't know about you, but I'm satisfied, let's keep moving. Very well, next, I was thinking of showing you the residential sector, but it's in part uh, so I can so I can tend to personal matters, right? It's a visitation to be precise, and I believe it will be educational for you as well. Would the two of you mind accompanying me? Do you think the new area, <laughs> Potato Chan, that's me. Um, do you think the new area, like Solution Nine, is going to open up a residential place for people to have houses? Yeah, we just finished having our bacon and our artificial grapes. Yeah. <laughs> Not at all. Wonderful. Let me know when you've seen enough here and we'll make our way. This would be a cool place to have a house, right? And like a mansion. Like this, this style, right? I don't know. What do y'all think? <laughs> Ready, then let's head to the residential sector. It lies to the southwest. As we walk, I would be glad to tell you about any place of interest that we come upon. Oh, they're gonna follow me now? Okay. Follow me? I'm gonna be your tour guide. Where am I going? Oh, over here, it's a mosaic. <clears throat> Oh yeah, oh yeah, don't be careful, spoilers. And by the way, thanks for the follow. <laughs> I don't want anybody to get spoiled. I'm doing a 97 MSQ. <laughs> Luckily, I don't think that was too bad. But... <clears throat> oh goodness. I wonder how they, uh... cause like, when, you know, we saw the artificial, we're well, not artificial, but the weird grapes and whatever. How do they find food fun to eat? Because <laughs> the whole part is making food look appetizing. They just have it in cartons and boxes. Oh, PSO! It kind of does look like PSO. Yeah, it does give PSO vibes. It's like very cyberpunky. Looks cool though. I want a new kind of apartment anyone can get and bigger than the current ones. Give me views like. <gasps> Give me views like the Tuliola Lins. That would be nice. That would be nice. All right, what is this? What is this area? Talk. Oh, oops, I spoke to welcome it. Uh, that meme was so good, I have to get everyone at home to try. Here we go. This is Mosaic, a cafe. Oh, oh, I thought it was like a mosaic. Okay. Here you can buy drinks and enjoy while you relax. I see, in Tulio, there's a similar establishment called that. That's seashell in the local tongue. Ah, oh, because it's on the seashore, maybe? Is there a story behind the name Mosaic? There is. In our continent, the races are named for stones. There's the Hyune, Hy Hyun, maybe? Hyun, who resembles some Tono Wata, the tall and graceful Eldite, and the demu diminutive and affable Milala. Wait, is that supposed to be a Lalafell? Diminutive. <laughs> so the Hyun, Eldite, and Milal. Milala? The races are named for stones. It's interesting. When they all gather here, they appear as mosaic, oh, as mosaic of colors. Thus did the founder choose to name the cafe. Oh, that's nice. If they serve tacos here, it'd be perfect. <laughs> tacos? A traditional Turali dish and one of my favorite foods. You must try it one day. We still haven't eaten freaking tacos. We'll make it happen once we've restored peace to Tulio. Right, let's continue on. Okay. Oh, this is such a cute cafe. What the heck? I love it. Can I get any drinks here? Do they serve anything? Coffee? <laughs> okay. Makes sense. Um, 
All right, where do we have to head to next? Oh, this way. Oh, this looks so cool. <laughs> In Final Fantasy IX, the princess is named after a gemstone, Garnet, and so is Sphen. Oh, is Sphen is it? Wait, Sphen is a gemstone? I didn't know that. I don't know my gemstones, I guess. <laughs> And here we are. These buildings are where citizens live. Ah, okay. They're massive. Each one is bigger than the palace. They have to be for just about all Alexandrians have apartments here. Lest you wonder, I'm here to visit some people. Their apartment is in the building on the left here at a residential radius 914. Residential radius? That's right. Come, the door is open automatically. Forgot I needed to be doing this. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to go back now, darn it. I forgot to. I think I forgot to get that one. Oh well. It's not too far away from the main one. Alright, we gotta go this way. Ooh. Look at the water feature. Fancy. Everybody lives here? Can they not, like, have babies? Like, are they not gonna run out of space? Oh, here we go. Clerk. Ask about the lobby. This is a lobby, a common area for residents. I see, and what does that machine there do? Oh, this? The concierge, they look after the residents. If you require assistance or have questions, they would be glad to assist. Is that so? I have no shortage of questions, but I'll direct them at you for now. By all means, you may consider me your personal concierge. Ask about lobby and welcome. Hey, Sveen, can anyone live in this place? Naturally. In fact, many of our countrymen make their homes here. No matter your origin or race, occupation or regular, regulator usage, all Alexandrian citizens are eligible for an apartment. This includes those you met who work in the outskirts. You've taken care of everyone for 30 years. I'm truly grateful. Ooh, this is cool. I didn't either until I saw someone else pointed out. Spain is also known as Titanite. What does that look like? Wait, what does that look like? <laughs> okay. This is the place. A mother and son live here. By the way, I love the outfit because I didn't realize the sides glow and the straps glow. It's so cool. It's kind of hard to see like from far away. Hello, Isadora. Your Majesty, you came. I have friends with me today. Is that all right? <clears throat> wow, look how spacious their apartment is. Of course, friends of the Queen are friends of ours. Please make yourselves at home. This apartment looks like our house, Todd. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> oh no, is he sick? How has Milo's been? There's been no change, but the symptoms are thankfully mild today. Uh-oh. Wait, why is he sick? Hello, Milo's. Have you missed me? Oh. Is he in a coma or something? It's so good. Housing here would be cool. Yeah. My son was born with, oh, Levin sickness, a severe aetheric imbalance towards lightning. As a result, he suffers from paralysis. He cannot walk and struggles to speak. For a blessing, he still has his hearing, and even on bad days, he can communicate with his eyes. Oh, dang, that's horrible. I see. Sphinx visits often, does she? She does. Milo simply adores her. 
He sometimes even manages to smile when she's here. Uh huh. Poor kid. What of yourself, Isadora? How are you holding up? You needn't worry about me, Your Majesty. You always make time for us, and we have everything we need. I'm glad to hear that, but you mustn't strain yourself, understood? There is nothing you can do for him? Perhaps a treatment with souls, or... Unfortunately, no. While souls can revive those who have met with an accident, they cannot reverse the effects of old age and illness. Oh! So people, not only do they take the souls of old people, they take the souls of sick people. <laughs> Truth be told, many children are born like Milo's. What? The illness has existed for generations, but we've been unable to find a cure. Oh, maybe that's the issue here, and that's why she can't do anything or something. I don't know. Oh, that's so pretty. It's like a green and, well, at least this one is green. Green and like reflections of orange. How pretty. I love that. That kind of, yeah, I feel like that fits her vibe. Yeah, Sveen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so, interesting. Hmm. The cause is quite clear, though. The excess lightning in the environment. It's no coincidence a number of cases has risen dramatically these past 30 years. Maybe they could just take these kids to... Tuliolo, right? Because there's no lightning there, maybe. It's all my fault. <laughs> my face. What was that? Her fault. I'm sorry, Isadora, but I must be going. I promise to make it a proper visit next time with treats to share. There's no need to apologize. If it weren't for you, Milos and I still are, wouldn't still be here. I did, I got, I got the whole outfit. I don't like the pants though. Thank you, Queen Sveen. Oh, he spoke. It's my pleasure, Milos. I'll be back soon, so be a good boy for your mother and for me. What is he gonna do? He can't move. <laughs> I only used... Oh, you only use the chest? Yeah, I like the chest. The shoes are okay, too. I like the shoes. Cause like, look at... Oh, freaking, I love the how it lights up. Like, look at... And look at this effect! Oh, wait, the hood glows? Whoa, I didn't know the hood glowed. Yeah, this one is like, the best. The best. And I love the colors that they did. Oh, you can dye it? Wait, you can dye that part? Oh yeah, there's two areas. Okay, so you can dye the coat. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, wait. Oh, name jacket in the inner shirt. Oh, okay, got it, got it, gotcha, gotcha. But I like, I like these two colors. I actually like these colors. <laughs> I don't think I would change it that much, maybe. Um, all unlucky, thank you. <laughs> Amy has the headphones. Oh, the headphones. Wait, what? Instead of, like, instead of the mask. I don't like the mask. I don't like that. I like the top part, but I don't like this part, like the dark part. I just like this. But since I can't, because if I like do that, it still hides the part that I don't like. Oh, it has headphones around the neck. Wait, what? That's cool. <laughs> Wait, that's cool. I really like that. My thanks for accompanying me on the visit. The illness is a part of life in Alexandria, and I thought that you should know about it. We'll find a cure one day, mark my words. We'll make it so unfortunate children like Milo smile again.
I think PvP had headphones. Oh, did it? Her people, her family. Well, let's continue the tour, shall we? Look, you obviously have duties to attend to. Citizens to look after. We can stop here if you like. No, no, I do this because I want to, so please do not worry. Next, I'll show you one of the district's most vital facilities, a place called Resolution. To reach it, we'll need to go by, uh, by way of Lino 9, where the Aetherite is situated. Still available? I use the boots from PvP instead of the Vanguard boots. I'll have to fix my glamour later. For now, it's okay. <laughs> I fit the area. I am happy. I kind of wish I changed my outfit to fit like Tuliolo better, but oh well. I see you, Rhea. Alright, where am I supposed to go? Here? This music puts me in such a good mood. Yeah, I want to see what the jacket looks like. Nobody around me has it. It's okay. I'll look at it later. Oh, wait, you were going to show me. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> I ran away from you. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I'm trying to get as much MSQ done because I'm not going to be playing all day. Like, I'll be playing gaming all day, but I'm going to be switching to another game in the afternoon. Part of me really wants to do the normal raids, though. But I don't have item level 285. The conveyor ahead will transport you to the government sector where resolution is located. The markings on a conveyor indicate its direction, and there's a pair just like it on the other side. It, is it safe? Extremely. There's no need to be afraid. Uh, who said I was afraid? Come on. <laughs> Oh, it's MSQ lock too. Oh, okay. Darn it. <gasps> what? Whoa. I turn into pixels. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, that looks really cool. <laughs> what? Wait, that's cool looking. It like turned me into pixels. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, she's talking to a lot of fell. What are they talking about? Oh, are those the headphones? Oh yeah, is this the outfit? Cute. Hmm. That's the gear, yeah. Mm. Love it. Ooh, I wonder what... Usually the craft... Well, actually, I don't know what the crafty... Craft... Crafted gear looks like. I wonder if it would be styled to, like, this, though. Solution 9 style. Okay, what is this area again? Resolution... And here we are, resolution, the operational heart of solution nine. From resolution, we oversee, excuse me, we oversee the running of the district to provide essential services to citizens such as welfare support and job introductions. What? It's, quick, it's quicker to show than tell, so let's proceed inside.
An infusion station. It dispenses souls in exchange for credits. What? Through hard work, citizens can obtain the peace of mind provided by spare souls. It's the way of life for Alexandrians and has been for quite some time. Dude's buying one-ups. Yeah. What the heck? But I imagine it must be difficult for outsiders to comprehend. Yeah. <laughs> That's putting it lightly. To be honest, it sounds disturbing. Right? Somebody just played for what what was her name? Watika? Somebody just bought Watika soul. Some poor kid's soul that died from being ill. Still, I won't <laughs> like, dismiss what? it out of hand. Practices like these don't arise from nothing. There's a reason why your culture is the way it is, and I'd like to understand. Won't you tell us some of your realm's history? I love how her character is so open-minded. Like, it's kind of perfect because it shows... It shows you how much she grew when we were doing the Dawn Servant part. And it kind of shows, like, from there, like, how much she's learned. And, like, why it's important to learn. And, like, now that we're here kind of thing. Kind of cool. I like how they're telling the story so far. What will you say? Uh, I'm keen to learn to. <laughs> Stude just bought someone's grandma. <laughs> do they also Very do the well. opposite? Be do warned, they, though, that it may take a while. Do they get money if they give back souls? <laughs> A refund policy. <laughs> In the distant past, over a thousand years ago, it said, lightning energy began to swell in our world. Wait, didn't we talk about how before Realm Reborn happened, some of the reflections already joined, right? And they said that each of those were afflicted by like fire, wind. So they're the lightning one? According to ancient records that date back around eight centuries, the rainy season spanned a quarter of the year, during which time severe thunderstorms ravaged the land. Dang, so this isn't even one of the reflections that we think we can still save, right? Because <laughs> we already assumed that they had been... Right? Also, I'm cold. Hold on. Oops. The pillow. <clears throat> You're right, they keep talking about lightning. Why did I think about that earlier? Anyways, okay. Find food person. Four Can you imagine later, it raining all the this time? This season had lengthened to nearly half the year. Oh. Must have been flooded. The trend continued, with our ancestors spending longer and longer languishing beneath storm clouds. Crops failed and livestock starved. Oh, that makes sense. But amidst this growing desperation, a miraculous material was discovered that promised salvation. Electrope. The stuff that's used everywhere here. Indeed. One day, when out inspecting a forest after lightning had caused a fire, a villager came upon a curious black ore none had seen before. Testing revealed that the ore possessed a singular property. It could store lightning and convert it to other energies. In that instant, the scourge of endless storms became a blessing. Dubbed Electrope, 
The ore found use in myriad inventions and dramatically improved people's lives. So much so, in fact, that all nations soon became dependent upon it, despite the difficulty of obtaining it in quantity. Despite the difficulty of obtaining it in quantity? Hmm. Supply was chronically scarce. Right. And when nations couldn't meet their needs with their own deposits, some resorted to taking electrope from others. Fighting was isolated and sporadic until Electrope came to be used in warfare. Oh. First in the weaponry of invaders, then in the countermeasures of defenders, and then in every aspect of combat where an advantage might be had. Interesting. So they first made these weapons to protect them, but then they used them on themselves. <laughs> This served only to exacerbate the ore shortage, leading to further escalation. Before long, the entire world was engulfed in a terrible war known as the Storm Surge. The Storm Surge. As the war came to a head, Alexandria's neighbor, Lindblom, committed its stores of Electrope to the production of a weapon of mass destruction. What? <laughs> they deployed it on the front lines and triggered a calamity of frightful magnitude. Not even their own scientists had anticipated on, the Andrew. force of the lightning that was unleashed. The energy inundated the entire continent, laying it to waste. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Ha 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 ha! Uh... Dang, that's intense. <laughs> Andrew, thank you for the 114 months! I'm still in just chatting? Am I? Oh yeah, it does say I'm in just chatting. That's weird. That was strange. I guess it didn't save. Okay, what about now? Is it fixed now? <laughs> Way to go, Twitch! <coughs> Thank you for letting me know. Sorry, I had to pause. I'll, I'll replay your, your thing in a second. Sorry, it's just important cutscene. <laughs> Thank you. So that's how your world came to be this way. Hmm. I'm put in mind of the flood of light, just like the flood of darkness. Sounds an awful lot like an umbral calamity. Yeah. You truly know a great many things that I don't. I should like to learn about you too sometime. But to continue the tale, the people of Alexandria had already lost much to the war. They lost almost everything else to the Leaven. Wait, what was the Leaven again? Press save doesn't save. Yeah, I hit done twice. Um, but sometimes, like, my OBS, like, reverts the category. It's really weird. Um... Those oh, love who means lightning. Or deep scars, tormented by the memory of loved ones taken too soon. Though they yet lived, the cruel spectre of death was with them always. Seeking a solution, our scientists turned once more to Electrope, and after extensive research, they developed the means to preserve memory and soul. Wow, those scientists are top tier. <laughs> the end. 
So long as our memories endure, we may live on. This belief sustained us then, and it sustains us now, granting us comfort. That's quite a tale. Hmm. So what about the other countries that were at war? So it was Alex. Your Majesty, help me. I beg you, help me. Alexandria and what did he say? Love Bloom or something? What was the other one? What's the matter? I've got no souls left. Not a single one. But the lot at Soul Supply refused to give me any. Please, you must do something. My apologies, Your Majesty. This man, he does no work. Instead, he drinks his days away on true view. He has only himself to blame if he has no credits for souls. That's not true. I'm a fighter at the Arcadian. Or rather, I was. Hey, that's the Arcadian. That's the, that's the new thing, right? The thing that they just released today? The raid? The normal raid? I haven't been allowed to fight because of the king's decree. It isn't my choice. I see. You're a brave warrior of the arena. I want to help you. I sincerely do. But I cannot give you preferential treatment. Then open up the Arcadian again so I can fight. Am I going to do savage? Hmm. Part of me wants to, but I'd have to find a group again, and... Well, that's hard. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's not my decision to make. The king requires feral souls for war. He doesn't wish for them to be expended on amusements. Feral souls? Do they mean, like, the souls of, like, beasts? <laughs> You're useless! A queen in naught but name! Wow, just because we didn't give you what you wanted? That's rude. <laughs> Insolent wretch! How dare you take that tone with her majesty? <laughs> what was that laugh? It's quite all right. Such things don't bother me, nor do I think ill of this man. Hear me. Though I cannot grant you a soul, I mean it when I say I want you to live. I love all of you equally, dearly. You are as family to me, and it pains me to see you deny yourself hope. My question is, like, why does he think he has to have it? Does he, like, jump off cliffs, like, every day? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> does he really think he's just gonna die from an accident? More drugs, please. <laughs> I want you to find a happiness all your own, even if you must grow it from the smallest seed of joy. Out there, somewhere, is a reason for you to smile again. True, that's true. We all need to vent our frustrations from time to time. I will always be willing to lend an ear. Yeah, if they're a society that's built around this and it's constantly... Like, they feel like they need it. It's mu it must be hard for them to be like, oh yeah, I'm, I'll be fine, you know? Because <laughs> they're so used to it. <clears throat> yes, Mom. Yeah, you of better course. feel bad for saying something mean. Even without a spare soul, I suppose I'm fine as long as I stay in Solution 9. Exactly. Can they? Can he get a different job, though? Wait. So, I apologize what about? For my rudeness. Good day to you. Does everybody? Does everybody have a way of making credits in Solution Nine? What about the poor people? How do they afford souls? I bet minor injuries are terrifying. You would think that they have all of the. Also, this music's really nice. 
You would think that um, they would have like high advanced technology where they just like say they got like a cut or something. They just put it under the machine. It goes meow meow meow, and then it heals it. You know, that's what I'm expecting from a city like this. <laughs> meow meow meow. It'd be like the what is it? The chamber that um, Boba Fett used. <laughs> In Star Keep Wars, chin up, my friend. It's like that. And when you feel better, I'm sure you'll find another way to apply your talents. Like I feel like everybody has that kind of chamber in their apartment, you know, kind of thing. Black market. Oh. If they can create, <laughs> I'm sorry. You something that's that? separate. Let's keep moving, shall we? If they can create something that separates memories, I'm sure they have advanced healing capabilities, right? Like, if they can revive people from other people's souls, like, they can heal a scratch, right? Like, no way! <laughs> like, what? Kim! How are you doing? Hello! How are you? It's midnight. What are you doing? <laughs> are you playing? Are you playing games? Are you playing Genshin? Ugh. I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV. It is so good. Look how cute this character is. Look at her little hair loopies. Adorable. Oh, you're working? Oh, okay. <laughs> I saw. I saw you go to Australia recently. That looked like fun. I hope you had a lot of fun. I got to hang out with Kim when I went to Japan, uh, Pat, how, how, what month is it? When did I go? <laughs> In April? <laughs> it's, been, it's been a little bit. It was the worst? Wait, what? Why? You got sick! Oh no! Are you feeling better? I hope. That sucks though, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know, I was like, what month is it? Tom's there now for his visa. <clears throat> okay. Better? Okay, good. I'm glad. <laughs> oh, this is an intense scene, though. What the heck? I'm tempted to get the this game. Need a break from WoW? Do it! It's free trial up until level 70. Right. Uh, it, I it. believe we visited all the main facilities. Our hair. With that, I declare our tour concluded. There we go. Let Finish the tour. Before. It's an intense Does that tour. Sort of thing happen often. Yeah, where they Somewhat. blame you. It's unavoidable. Hardships are a fact of life. You're our only a queen in name. Has sustained our realm for generations, but it isn't without flaws. True. Oh, thanks for the follow. One day I'll go to Japan. Well, hopefully, now that you got your new job, right? Will it make it more? Of a possibility, one, people have become accustomed to having spare souls. Without them, they feel vulnerable and anxious. Some claim it may also have contributed to a decline in births. Wait, what? Some claim it may also contribute to a decline in births? What? Interesting. Maybe because they were thinking out so loud, anxious. Would it be possible to do away with the system? No. No. I know it isn't easy to change one's beliefs and way of life. The Mamulja had their reasons for their reliance on blessed siblings, much as you have yours for souls. But if we defeated Zorolja, you'd be able to make all the decisions, right? I have to show y'all something funny that Vic sent me a couple days, or it was a day ago. Then we could work together to fix <laughs> I'll things. I'll show y'all after this. Restore your realm to where it belongs and see where we can go from there. Music reminded me of it. Listen to me. There's something that I need to tell you. Oh. Oh, she's being watched though. 
What is it? Just go back there and... Uh, actually, never mind. It's nothing of import. What? That's so suspicious! Well, it was lovely showing you around. What is she hiding? Uh, what is she of hiding? Of course. Of course. Thanks so much for the tour. We've learned not only about your realm, but you as well. For now, our priority is Aralja. But once we've dealt with him, perhaps I can return the favor and show you to Lihyola. I'd like that very much. <laughs> my, my eyebrows narrowed. <laughs> it was so subtle, though. I looked angry. Look at me storm off. My Lollafell storm off walk. <laughs> it looks so silly. What was she gonna say? I'm not there yet. Oh, it seems I have no choice but to continue down this path. What? Forgive me, Val Wuklamat, but I must disappoint you. What? What does that mean? What does that mean? Does that mean she's gonna go and abs maybe they're out they're running out of souls. So she has to go and take the souls of the people in Tuliolo. <gasps> maybe that's what it is. I don't know. She wants to speak her truth. Bikin ain't actually that nice. I wonder like if they get away with the system, they can live. Yeah, I guess it still would freak people out. Nobody would be for it. Unless, I don't know. This is cool though. Ooh, I like what they're doing here though. I like that it's so, I don't know. Taco Tuesday's canceled. <laughs> no, that's so funny. Also, sorry, Andrew, let me replay your alert. I don't know if you're still here. Thank you for the 114 months. Sorry, for, I should have paused the alert, but it's okay. I'm happy you told me though. <laughs> Not Taco Tuesday. PSO. Did you? So you used to play PSO? I played PSO for a little bit. I didn't try PSO 2 when that came out. But like, look at this. This looks so cool. And like, listen to the music. Can y'all hear the music? It's like such a vibe. Did you really Dreamcast? The heck? Good morning, cat. RTX 10,000. <laughs> what? Oh wait, oh this thing? Oh, it kind of does look like a graphics card. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. Yeah, you'll love, you'll love this. I don't know, do you already play Final Fantasy IV? Yeah, you said this is spoilers, so you're playing. What level are you, Inzigo? By the way, I'm talking to people on TikTok. If y'all are like, who, Kylie, who the heck are you talking to? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Adam Mentoy is nice. I'm on Excalibur. <sighs> hey, tall friend. Wait, are y'all still in Minneapolis? Are y'all still hanging out? Or are y'all already back? Cat. Oh, you just started. I hope you have fun. I need to level up crafting today. Wait, what? Today's Tuesday. Yeah, I can do that. Crafting Tuesday. Taco Crafting Tuesday. All right. I'm so. I wanna. I wanna theorize what's going on so that I can compare it to what actually does happen. So she's not an actual evil person. She just cares so much about her people. So she's literally willing to do anything for her people. And I'm assuming that they're out of souls. 
Because nobody's dying. How are they getting the souls? Some people are sick. It looks like most of the children are sick. So maybe they're de they have a decline in birth rate. I'm assuming. Um, so nobody... Everybody's just getting older, but, but everybody is living for a long time. So not many people are dying of old age. And there's not many babies that are healthy. I'm assuming. So now she's like... Crap, how am I going to get all these souls for my people? Because otherwise they just are anxious and it's kind of like a snowball effect. Also, by the way, this is all re rhetorical, so don't answer it. I'm just guessing <laughs> at this point. But it's like a snowball effect. If they're anxious that they don't have souls, then that impacts birth rate even more. So they have to have a way to get souls. So maybe the way is conquest, aka using the uh what am I why do I always I always remember Bakul and Galul, but I can't ever remember the the first promise's name. Anyways, the first promise him killing everybody. Maybe that's the solution, but they're not even sucking the souls away, are they? Thrall. Why do I for freaking forgot about, always forget about his name? Thralja. But wait. Where did we see the first situation, like the first thing where we saw two orbs come out of somebody? We saw a blue one and we saw like a red one. Where did we see that? Where in the story did we see that? Where did we see that? When, when, when did that happen? When did that happen? When they invaded. Oh, they did suck the souls out of the people in Tuliolo. Oh my god, I think I'm right. When the Fire Nation attacked. Um, oh my god, I think my theory is adding up. Because literally she said like, I'm going to have to disappoint you. She doesn't want war, but she thinks that it's her only way because her people don't want to change and she's all for her people. <gasps> don't answer that. I've been playing 11 years. I've neglected crafting. Hey, you're like me. Only I only recently started crafting <laughs> or leveling my crafters. And I've been playing since 2013 as well. That's funny. Five head. Literally. Almost. Yeah. But, yeah. Freaking. Oh. Maybe that's what's happening. Let's see. You're flying in Solution 9? Wait, how are you flying? Uh, what was Fiend wanting to tell us, I wonder? Well, it can wait for another time. We've been exploring for a while now. And probably shouldn't go to. Kokiva. Me point. <laughs> I need help again, Ria. That'll be back the that'll be back the way we came, I think. All right, I need to go get that other uh, aetherite or whatever they call it. What do they call it? Linode? Lenode? I need to get this one. The Nexus Arcade. Oh, Recreation Zone. Wait, I haven't been over there. It survived the patch. Wait, what? Invisible pole? Wait, what are y'all talking about? I wanna, what is it? What are you talking about? I wanna see it. Have y'all been cosplaying as Bob Ross while playing a Pictomancer? <laughs> There's a glitch to climb a pole. I'm near the main Aetherite. Okay, hold on. Let me get this Aether net shard real quick. I'm surprised it doesn't change to like their name for it, you know? Since they call Aether different. Am I allowed to show this? Am I gonna get in trouble? Where? There's a glitch to climb a pole. 
here? What, this pole? Oh my god! Rhea! What the heck? <laughs> Rhea, come down here! How did you do that? Teach me. Teach me. Is it hard to climb it? Where's the pole? It's an invisible pole. Oh. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Am I gonna get in trouble? Don't tattle tell on me, chat. This is a cool screenshot, though. <laughs> I'm gonna take a screenshot. <laughs> no people in my way of my screenshot game. Cool. Hey, it's that pic you sent me last night. Oh, yeah, you're right. It is the picture I sent FN last night. Look, y'all wanna see it? Y'all wanna see it? Where did I send it? Oh, here it is. Look at it. This is a picture. It's the same thing. <laughs> oh, thanks, Moses. Appreciate you. Flying Popito. <laughs> uh, okay. We. Wait, they obviously know about that. <laughs> Spot the difference. Oh, also, I was doing a quest uh, last night. So I was doing, I was getting all the Aether currents. I was getting all the Aether currents in Shalone, Shalone, Shaloni, Sh whatever. And there, <laughs> it's so funny. So basically, you had to intimidate somebody in the quest. <laughs> <laughs> you cats, look at those arms and those impossibly chiseled neck muscles. Fine, fine, just put all that away. <laughs> it's just my lolafell. It cracked me up. I was like, oh my god, I freaking. Because <laughs> I had to like flex on the guy to make him like take me seriously. <laughs> but how can you take that seriously at all? Look at these chiseled neck muscles. <laughs> like, what? What? What chiseled neck muscles? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, I had to do slash flex. Hold on, let me flex. There, I had to do this. So terrifying. <laughs> what neck? Hey, I have a neck at least. Maybe not knees, but I have a neck chiseled. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, I know, freaking love Lollafells. They're my favorite race. I love this race. Freaking love it. It just, it makes the game just so much better, in my opinion, because it makes some cutscenes that probably are supposed to be serious. It makes them funny. It makes them funnier when they're not supposed to be funny, but it's just <laughs> so good. I do, Zero. I do. <laughs> Look at those just little neck muscles. <coughs> Excuse me. But, God, I love it. Especially at the end of Endwalker. I feel like that was, like, prime. Just prime. Also, Lollafells can enter places that some other races can't. I don't know what else to say about Lollafells, though. Those two things. <laughs> Chiseled neck muscles. Okay. Well, that was cool. Thanks for showing me that, Rhea. I got a really cool screenshot now. I love it. Wait, where'd it go? There it is. Yeah, freaking love it, man. It's perfect. All right, let me go turn in this quest. Where is she? What the heck? Where is she? <laughs> Wait, how, what? Oh, we go the long way. <sighs> Lala's can't reach the top shelf, so they compensate with tiny homes. <laughs> As they should. 
okay. You can just get the item off the shelf for us, Rhea. You're taller for, for everybody. <laughs> are Vera the tallest, actually? Or is that like the elves? Or are they the same height? I'm guessing the ears would also count as like extra, extra height. Maybe. Sveen generally cares for her people. I can respect her for that. And thanks to her tour, I've come to better understand the lives of Alexandrians. They don't feel so strange and distant anymore. Excuse me. A new weapon. Is it better than the one that I have? <laughs> Probably not. Oh, it is. Oh, because it's level 98. A dungeon weapon <laughs> but I wasn't uh, I wasn't really a fan of it it was pretty because it glowed but that's it oh Roe are the tallest Roe Hrothgar might be bigger I don't know but Vera are very tall okay all right scales of blue so we're supposed to go to a place called true view in the eastern sector this conveyor ought to take us there you know, once you get used to it, they're actually kind of fun. Come on. Come on. Did I get the information center one? If not, it's okay. Whee! Oh, this place looks cool. So this is the... What do they call it? The re recreation zone? Recreation? This is the right place, you think? I don't see the others, though. Well, rather than sitting and waiting, we might as well explore a bit more. Huh? Miss, look over there. <gasps> it's the baby! Wait, he's so cute. A Mamulja child? What are they doing here? <laughs> what is this music? <laughs> <laughs> Look how cute! <laughs> what is he doing? Wait! What is he doing? He's so cute! What the heck? My outfit? This is probably a dumb question, but do you mean in real life or in my game? <laughs> you notice too, right? The resemblance to Zeralja? The blue scales of a buio with the features of a hubigo? No, is that his kid? No, this can't be a coincidence. At any rate, it wouldn't do to leave such a small child on their own. What, is that his kid? Come on, let's go after them. We'll see. In game, <laughs> okay. I got it from the Vanguard dungeon. And they're all the drops that you can get from the Vanguard dungeon. It's nice, huh? Best glamour. At least so far, that I like. Sometimes I want to change from Vera after seeing some hats in game. Oh, why's that? Wow, wow. Where is, where is the arena, by the way? Oh, it's over there. Wait. Oh, it's this way. Oh my god, this is, I love the colors. I love the colors, okay. Oh, the graphics card. Oh, that's the... That's the Arcadian, right? <laughs> it looks like a graphics card, y'all are right. GTX 10,000. Ah, oh, this is so pretty. I just love these colors together. I love it. So colorful. You're welcome. Buns can't wear a majority of hats. Oh, 90% of the hats don't work on Vera or Hrothgar? Oh. That's unfortunate. Maybe in the future they'll fix it? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, 
look at it. Ooh. Ooh. I like these drawings. Look at that. Look at the Lolafell one. Ooh. Kind of reminds me of like Splatoon, you know? Wow, guys. Thank y'all for the follows. Hi, Dai. Good morning. So this is true view. I'm not sure what I'm looking at, but it does seem lively. That's the arena. That building's just uh, about the only one that isn't lit up. Not open for business at the moment, I guess. Ooh, I wonder what it looks like when it is lit up. Oh, there's the baby. Hello, baby. What? <laughs> what is this music? What? <laughs> I I didn't see you there. Listen, we don't mean you any harm. We just want to talk. It's a bit odd, don't you think? They run off when we approach, only to suddenly reappear. Could it be they want to take us somewhere? Oh, does it not speak? Oh. Is that the way of it? You want us to follow you? Oh, he's like, yes. So it is. All right, then lead the way. Just let me fold my ears back like Bugs Bunny does when he wears a hat. Oh, that'd be cute. <laughs> That's a great solution, Deck. Okay. <laughs> Blue scaled hoopy go child. What is a hoopy go again? And a bony wall? I can't remember which one was which. So he's like the perfect mix of like the chameleon people and like the re regular mamulja. God, I literally forgot what Hubigo was. It's hard to keep track of the people. Hubigo is the red mimosa. Yeah, so he looks... Right? He looks like a normal one. A normal one. Uh, He looks like Zerulja. Yeah. But just, I guess, a different color. Once you choose to depart, Wuklamat will accompany you. The blue scaled Hubigo child. Oh, it says Hubigo child. Right, yeah. So I guess it's not a mixture. I don't know. We'll then begin moving towards the destination. Okay, got it. All right, let's go. Where is he taking us? It's so cute. Wait, he's taller than me. <laughs> what? Wait, we're the same height. <laughs> we're the same height. He's taller just because of his horn. So that doesn't count. Ooh, is that the bar? What is that? That looks cool. Ooh, what's this? Wait, this area looks so cool. Oh, ooh, 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 we're going this way. Ooh, what is this? It looks like a haunted house or something. Oh. Taking us in here. Oh. oh. Okay. Oh, we're at the bar. Wait, are little kids allowed in here? My hair doesn't count. I need to make my hair tall. Is this where you wanted to bring us? What the heck? Why did a child lead us to a bar? <laughs> oh. Wait, what's this? What is that? What is that? What is that? What is this place? If you're meant to relax here, it isn't working for me. <laughs> it's too overstimulating. Hey, what's your name? He has no name. Oh my god, right Brando? I love it here. So you're still not inclined to talk. He'll only talk if he's completely comfortable with you. Oh my god, their name is Melancholy? What? That's such a cute name. But also kind of sad. <laughs> Just kidding. You know him? No. After a fashion, but never mind that. How about something to wet your whistle? 
Oh, is he just trying to get business for this bar? Oh, maybe. We, f we fell for it. He can get a little apple juice. <laughs> oh. Zeralja is a Hubigo with the azure scales of a Bonoa from being Galulja's son. And his kid has similar unique scales. So it is his kid? Or this kid. Sorry. This kid. <laughs> Sorry, Ria. Adorable as you are, it is on the house. <gasps> she says we're adorable. I can recommend our special, Her Majesty. I'll prepare one without liquor for the boy too. Okay. Wait, they have a drink called Her Majesty? I don't drink, apparently. <laughs> I was like, nope. Oh, uh, thanks, but no thanks. We're supposed to meet a friend named Kakiwa, but we ran into the child on the way and he, and he led us here. Oh, I'm secretly kind of hoping that they would have gotten a drink, so I want to see what it looks like. <laughs> no. Oh, so you're with Kakiwa. Oh, oh, what's that look? Oh, what's that look? What is, what is he doing? In that case, go and have a chat with Big Tassos there. He'll show you to a fun place. That's not uh, weird. What about him? I don't think he's in a mood to talk, so he can tend the bar with me. He can tend the bar? This has taken a turn for the strange, but you don't think we're walking into a trap, do you? <laughs> It does feel like that. Everything's a trap. I guess it's like maybe a maybe it's a place that because like none none of the other people are there, right? Oh, he's leading us here to meet our people so that we can talk in private. That's probably what it is. Dane, if this doesn't have suspicion written all over it. Yeah. Oh, he's so cute though. He's so cute though, but like, look at this. He's my buddy. Hold on. Ah, we're holding hands. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> what? <laughs> the baby's taller than me. I know, okay, I know. But he's a mamol, he's a mamolja. That's they're supposed to be tall, right? So of course the baby would be tall. That's actually really cute, though. Oh my god, I like him. What is this fun place meant to be? Is Kakewa there? Well, I suppose there's only one way to find out. Ooh, I got a new chess piece. However, I wonder what it looks like. Oh. Oh shoot! What? That looks cool. Wait, this actually goes really well with the dungeon outfit. What? That looks cool. Wow, it fits everything. The shoes, the gloves, the pants. Well, maybe not the pants. <laughs> um, as cool as it is, I prefer my other top. So let me glamour it real quick. Cool though. You love the baby. I know the baby's so cute. You die for the baby. <laughs> so cute. It matches the leggings, not the shorts. Yeah, I kind of don't like the shorts with the legging combo. But what is this? Gives you teeth? Interesting. This area is normally off limits, but Kakewa's told us about you. Just follow the corridor and head into the room at the end. Let's go. Whatever happens, you won't catch me being surprised. The shorts are very Kingdom Hearts. Wait, you're right. It is very Kingdom Hearts-esque. That's the second time I've heard that. Wonderful. They're here. Is that a 3D printer? <laughs> what is that? We've only just arrived ourselves. Okay, I was right. The baby's on our side. Amazing. So this must be their base. 
Right. They did say right. This is their base. I forgot. I bid you welcome to the back room. Oblivion. Oblivion. Humble right. Oblivion. Oh, humble headquarters. Got it. Thanks, Miwa. A hideout tucked behind the drinking hole. Brings back memories, doesn't it? Oh, shoot! Yeah! The Waking Sands! Right? <laughs> the, <laughs> the robot is very Astrobot. It does look like Astrobot. I, it's my third day, Miwo. Third day. Third day. I'm still getting used to it. I'm, yeah, trying my best. Pray return to oblivion. <laughs> I wonder what, will they say something like that? An ode to it and it'll be something else. Our members else. here are mainly creators and adapters. Creators? Is, scientists and engineers who specialize in electro. Ooh, I play on Excalibur. They use their skills to provide support to our field operatives. Really, Milo? That's awesome. Wait, really? That's cool. Or more Dona, I think. The front is a bar, if I remember right. Yeah, are they, wait, are they referring to Waking Sands or are they referring to Mordona? The base in Mordona. I don't know, regardless. Genel, Shale, be so kind as to give our friends an overview of your duties. What are your duties, sir? Clearly not wearing a shirt. <laughs> well, there's provisioning. Gotta have supplies to fight the good fight, ain't ya? Luckily, we got the tools to craft most of what we need. Gathering intelligence is another vital aspect of our work. Everkeep's core system is a veritable treasure trove of information. You just need to know how to get in and find it. Oh. Cool. Oh, both? Okay. Oh, you're on Behemoth. I did, that's the same one on Primal, isn't it? Uh, I just did the first normal raid, and there's already... One dude having a fit over a wipe. Oh no. Oh god. Really? That's unfortunate. Oh! Oh! Does she recognize the earring? We also handle surveillance and communications, watching the enemy's movements and coordinating our own. That sort of thing. Classic. Yeah, classic. And among all our activities, we spend a fair bit of effort investigating preservation. Wait, his counterpart on the source doesn't wear a shirt either? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? His counterpart? Who's his counterpart? Wait, what? We spend a fair bit of effort investigating preservation. Oh, right, that's the name of this area. Primal. Oh no, the guy in normal race is saying, please do mechanics. Bro, we don't even know them yet. <laughs> did you tell did you tell him that? You should say, bro, we don't even know them yet. Don't you know he was on a server up, skipped all cutscenes and parsing his historical rank one normal parse? Oh god. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Miwa. I appreciate you. The organization credited with laying the foundations of Electrobe technology. Here, I'm gonna focus real quick. From the soul management system to Everkeep's design, they're behind just about everything you see here. It'd be no exaggeration to say they make this realm what it is. I have a feeling they're gonna drop some really big information. <laughs> but their magnum opus was without a doubt the power which was used to join Alexandria to Tural. Interdimensional fusion. Oh, they did that? Interdimensional fusion? Excuse me? Said power isn't unlike my summoning technique and the magic within Asm's crystal. Don't hate me, Razor, but I, I didn't do the relic weapon, so that's probably why I don't recognize him. Don't hate me. Yet, though the effect is localized, to be able to fuse realities. Even with my knowledge, I struggle to conceive how it could be possible. Right. What is this science? The founders of our group, a husband and wife, were members of preservation at one point. The founders 
a husband and a wife? I wonder who they're talking about. That they opposed the fusing of worlds and so defected in order to prevent it. Oh. While not entirely unexpected, given what we have seen, this is still quite the revelation. Oh, interesting. By the by, that's an interesting earring you have there. A novel way of carrying a data storage device. <gasps> what? It's a USB? Oh, you didn't know. <laughs> well, as Wait, a precautionary what? measure against machine infiltration, we scan everyone as they enter. And when we scanned you, we detected a small quantity of electrope. Though it's been dressed up, that earring is a storage device, ah. and no mistake. Bought it from a shop here, did you? No, it, it, it isn't bought, but inherited. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot! Oh, what's on it? So these people sent you through the portal along with the earring. Do you know aught of them? We don't even know their names, do we? Listen, Cryo. The husband and wife who founded our order. Oh. It's believed that they were Malala. Malala! A.K. Lalafell. I was right about the Malala. A.K. her parents. Ah! Though we have no evidence at present, we can rule out the possibility that they were your parents, or perhaps close relations. Oh boy. This I posit because they were the very individuals who spearheaded the research into interdimensional fusion. As traitors to preservation, they were relentlessly pursued. So remind, what did they, sorry, I need to re rewind it. So they basically didn't want interdimensional fusion to actually happen, right? If they had a child, that's they why they're they traitors. Safe. Entrusting her to the people of another world might have been their best option. My parents, the founders of Oblivion. Whoa. Tell me everything you know about them, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant. Anything and everything. More than that. They didn't want to fuse worlds. I'm afraid. What? In a bid to elude preservation's agents, we suspect they erased all trace of themselves. Oh. That's sad. But maybe I'm they're sure still alive. Of more help. If you're interested, though, you're welcome to review our accumulated data. Yes, please. As an individual and member of my order, both, I wish to learn as much as possible. But well, isn't there like information? I should information? also like to peruse the data. Where the joining of realities is concerned, I may well be of service. Can't you get information from her earring? Sorry, Jan. Of course. Feel free to peruse to your heart's content. Thank you. If you like, I can examine your earring. I have to say the prospect that it belonged to our founders has me itching to take a look as long as you don't do anything with it just kidding i dare say we have enough eyes to pour over your records is there any other way we might be productive <laughs> why did you sound like that mm, not right now what we're still waiting for zoralgia oh. to make the next move in that case, mm -hmm. Alice, would you mind accompanying me? <laughs> Alice is Gladly. bored. Look at the 3D printer. Oh, <laughs> I've buggered it up again. Uh, never a moment's peace. Pay him no mind. I don't. <laughs> Oi, you two there! Why don't you give me a hand, would you? 
Don't matter who. I'm uh, around level. I think I'm. Maybe I'm actually at level 98 MSQ. But it's like around level 96, 97, 98. Maybe it's actually level 97. 97. Yeah. That it becomes like this. LSA likes computers are whack. Give me something to stab. <laughs> computers are whack. Give me something to stab. All right, what am I gonna do? Help him fix his 3D uh, printer? I just remembered I have matters to discuss with Shay. <laughs> He's like, I'm uh, not gonna be part of this. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on, I need to actually double check because I, I need to change my title if I'm level 98. Oh, it is. It is level 98 MSQ. Oh my gosh, I'm already, it's already level 98, what? All right, let's see here. Sorry you had to see me passion spilling over. Happens when you put your heart and soul into your craft, you know? And not to be weird or nothing, but I feel felt a sense of kinship when I saw you. As if we've met in another life. Do y'all know, Chad? Do y'all know who this is? Apparently it's the relic weapon guy. I didn't do the relic weapon. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Oops. Any road. And as I was saying, I need someone to lend me a hand. I haven't slept for two nights now. Not a single wink. And I'm ripe to collapse. Can't afford to, though. Got folks relying on me, see? But if I'm to keep at it, I need you to fetch me my favorite energy tonic. Energy drink. He also had a counterpart in Shadowbringers. Who was the underwater gear dude? Oh, I can't remember him either. I started some of the Relic, never finished any. I think I, I probably start attempted it too, but then I was like, ugh. That voucher's good for two cans. One for yourself by way of welcome. Can't get the stuff at any old vending machine, though. You need to talk to a bloke named Philomon. You'll find him tending a bar out on the main strip. Off you go now. All right, I glorified... This looks cool, though. Glorified Aaron lady. Aaron Lala. Oh, I love that they're called Milala. Milala. Wait, that's cute. Way back then, the relic for Rummerborn, I think. The bald dude. Bald dude. Was he bald? Did he not have a shirt on either? <laughs> I love how she calls me adorable. Freaking the baby. All right, so we need to go to Philomon. Wait, is this the, oh, these are the, can we get anything? Oh no, cool, the vending machines. <laughs> Woo, I love all the neon lights. Ooh, ooh, light, oh. Oh, is this the bar? I love how everybody's hair color is so bright. Well, not everybody. Okay, this guy, Philomon. Welcome, what are you having? Need an energy drink, please. Energy tonics you can't get from vending machines? How dare you suggest that I sell such dangerous stuff? Dangerous? Away with you, away with you, and don't come back. Oh, shoot. Ahem, <clears throat> got a voucher? Slip it to me then, nice and subtle. <laughs> what? The heck? Hi, Rag! My day is going great. How is yours? Oh, everyone from the source has counterparts on reflections. Yes. I got two. Here you go. Ah, so you're collecting for Janolt. I can for him and I can for you, eh? Yeah. Here 
you go. Yours is formulated for beginners. Gentler than the full strength stuff. It's not contraband or anything, so you won't run afoul of the authorities. But if the Rodina Consortium was made aware of my special selection, it'd be bad for business. Now, seeing as it's your first time, I want you to drink your tonic here, just in case there's side effects. What? Side effects? Wait, look how colorful it is! Full strength energy drink and a beginner's one. Bearing a curious design upon its can, this energy tonic is apparently formulated for beginners. Wait, it looks, it looks cool. <laughs> Rainbow! Alright, I drink it. You drain, you drain the tonic in a single pull. Now that's what, that's how you do it. Your pulse ought to quicken soon, after which you'll start to see everything more clearly, and then finally you'll feel a roaring surge of energy. People say it's like growing a pair of rainbow wings. Well, you haven't up and carked it, so hurry along and give Janolt his tonic. He tends to leave it to the last moment, and I expect he's about to kill over. Whoa! What? What the? <laughs> what? What the? What the heck is going on? Wow! Oh, it doesn't last very long. What a freaking Super Saiyan! Wait, do it again. Wait, do it again. Wait, that was cool. Give it again. Give it to me again. No. What the heck? I was not expecting that. Um, wait, that was cool. I've never seen anything like that. What the heck? You're about to jump on. Oh, Final Fantasy X. Your Final Fantasy X playthrough. How's that going? I love Final Fantasy X. Ugh, it's such a good game. Wait, how do I get back? Oh, I think I'm going this way. Holy cow, that looks so cool. I want to do it again. Heading to the back room. Also, Rainbow Wing Mount Win Yoshi P. Ooh, that would be cool. Maybe it will be the one where you finish collecting all of the wings from all the trials. I think that's how you get the wings, right? You got the tonic, give it here quick. Wait, is he gonna turn Super Saiyan? Wait, 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 wait. Is he's probably gonna go full, full on crazy. Oh, there it is! That looks so cool! Ah, that's the stuff! Ain't nothing like it to blow the cobwebs right out of with a great big kaboom! Oh, it, la it, it, it did. does not last very long. Awaken something feral in me, it does. Transform me, transforms me into a remorseless beast that won't stop till it's done what it was born to do. Any road, sorry for sending you off on an errand like that. I just can't concentrate without the mutonic, you know? And the big pile of work only ever gets bigger. Speaking of which, I better get back to it. Those weapons and tools ain't going to enhance themselves. Can we buy that later and keep drinking it? Is it gonna be... Is it gonna be like a, uh, you know, wee? You know, like an item like this? That would be cool. An aura? It is kind of like an aura. Super Saiyan. Oh, you're experiencing Blitzball for the first time? Oh, <laughs> it's okay. I <laughs> take your time. Meaning to ask about that Mamulja child? Yeah, yeah, Could yeah, yeah. He be. Yes. In all likelihood, he's Zorelja's son. Oh my god! So it's been confirmed? In all... Well, it's not... Well, it says likelihood. What? He has a kid? Oh my god! Oh, an emote of it would be cool. That would be cool. So you think so too? <coughs> oh shoot. But what is he doing here? Right? He was abandoned, the poor dear. We found him in the drift downs a few years ago. He was ab abandoned? Thank you, Ian. Aww. The poor baby. 
to think he'd cast aside his child. We can't say for certain who he was born to, or why he was on his own. But he's a blue-scaled Hubigo, and Zoralja is the only other one around. That being the case, everyone assumes their father and son. Even the boy has put two and two together. Oh, man. Oh, that's tough. It all he was very little, so he has no recollection of his parents. <sighs> it breaks my heart to think of it. Aww. Why don't we adopt the poor baby? What's his name? Gulja. So cute. Oh, he's named after his grandfather. Uh, I should mention that the boy is a little unusual. Oh, that's so cute. At what, first, he doesn't I talk to raise him as my own. But just when I thought he was warming to me, he suddenly disappeared. We searched high and low for several days. And where should he turn up? But in the wilds near Everkeep. Maybe he was trying to get what? you flowers. It's a miracle he didn't fall prey to fiends. Right? True. See? That's another unusual thing. Creatures don't seem to attack him. He could pick his way through the Thunder Yards as if he were on a stroll. On making inquiries, we learned that he had been living alone and receiving food from the people of the outskirts. This became something of a pattern. We track him down and bring him back only for him to disappear again within a matter of days. <laughs> what? He would return to the wilds without fail, and once again rely on the kindness of strangers to survive. <laughs> what? Finally, I took the hint and left him be, giving him the solitude he prefers, and lending a hand only when he explicitly asks. But he's, he's just a baby. How does he if know any better? If is Zorolja's child, that makes him my nephew. Assuming he's willing, I'd be glad to take him in like Papa did for me. Oh, yeah. Um, but seeing as I'm here to kill his father, uh, yeah. I don't right. know if it would be right. Forgot about that. <laughs> Hold on, let me go kill. Oh! He Who heard that? that. He heard that. Ooh. Oh dear. It's Galulja. Oh, Don't no. tell me he heard everything. Oh no, what did you do, Wukuma? Now he's gonna hate you. Uh, this is my fault. This is your I first duty as aunt. Away, but I have taken more precautions. <laughs> you already said you were gonna kill his dad. <laughs> oh god. I'm going after him. I need to explain. Wait, Lamachi. I understand your haste. But it'd be best to coordinate a search. Kakiwa, do you have any idea where he might go? There's no telling, I'm afraid. He could as easily be outside the tower as here in Solution 9. What? But he just if left. If those can fight with search below, Hi, my Nick, mother and I will scour the district. Sounds like a plan. Let's get to it. teeth because of the energy drink. Hi, RC. New pants. Interesting. 
interesting. Hmm. I kind of like them. I'm not sure yet. Things in Warden. I don't have any water right now, but I'll get some later. Thank you, though. Little footfalls. If Galulja is outside the tower, we need to find him as quickly as possible. Even if he's used to getting around on his own, the wild are still no place for a child. Agreed. While Kryle and Raha continue reviewing the data, the three of us should devote ourselves to the search. Alright, let's head to the base of the tower and take it from there. Oh man, that poor baby is like, I never should have let them come here. They're so sad. He probably still cares about his dad, right? Even though he was abandoned. Because it's his, it's his dad. Why was he abandoned though? Wait, where am I going? Oh. Let me attune to this first. Captain. All right, let's go find the baby Mamuja or baby Galulja. Oh, I love that name. Well, we are outside, but where do we even begin? Perhaps someone has caught sight of Galulja. Let's make inquiries nearby. Good idea. Could you handle the outskirts, Alice? In the meantime, Miss and I will head beyond that big wall. Oh, this wall? Oh, we're going behind the wall? Oh wait, I need a mount that is more fitting. <laughs> uh, what mount should I use? What's a mount that makes sense? <laughs> um... I could do, I could just do the lightning pony. Or the, ooh, or this, the dog, or, oh, Ixian? Oh, do I not have Ixian? Oh. I don't have that mount. <laughs> really? I guess so. I thought I got that one, though. Did I spell it wrong? Oh, well. We'll do, we'll do this one. <laughs> Wee! Lightning pony. Here, let me move the. What's on the opposite side of the wall? Water? Oh, is it a is it a dam? What is, what's that? Oh, this is a person <laughs> with an umbrella. I was like, why are they floating? Galulja doesn't appear to be in the area. However, you catch sight of a group of people a short distance to the southwest. You spotted those people too? Yes. Perhaps they've seen something. Come on. random person floating. <laughs> I didn't know you could use your umbrellas like that and just float. 
Who are all these people? The Drift Downs. Looks like some sort of salvage yard. Well, let's ask after Galulja. Galulja isn't here. Oh, they know him? You know the boy? Have you seen him? Oh, forgive me. I didn't know you were... What? No offense taken. My name is Tapu. My eyes may be useless. Oh, is she blind? My eyes may be useless, but my ears are sharper for it. I can recognize people by their footfalls, including Galulja. Look at her little gym. It's pretty. So he didn't come this way. Where in the world could he be? I do not know your voices. Who are you to Galulja, and why do you search for him? I'm family, though we're not related by blood. His father is my brother. I'm, I've only just met Galulja, and he, we haven't had the chance to talk properly, but I'm about to do something that will make him hate me, and I wanted to, a chance to explain. His father is your brother? Then that means you're... Yes, I'm Wuklamat, Vow of Resolve of Tuliola. Lol. And I've journeyed here to bring my brother Zeralja to account for murdering our people and our father. When all is said and done, Galulja may want nothing to do with me. Nonetheless, I'm, I'll always consider him family. I'll always be there for him, and I want him to know that. It tears, it tears you apart to do what you must. The quiver in your voice tells the tale. Galulja was headed south. There, he has a place that is as close to home as he knows. Find and bear your heart to him. Should he in turn bear his heart to you, accept and respect his wishes, as Queen Sveen respected ours when she granted us a place in her realm. I will, don't worry. But uh, what do you mean when you say Sveen respected your wishes? Out of concern for our well-being, Her Majesty had urged us to reside inside Everdeep, Everkeep. When we declined, not only did she gracefully accept our decision, she granted us the necessary supplies to make our home here. And since then, she has paid us regular visits to see how we fare. That's nice. That sounds like Sveen, all right. Well, thanks for telling me about Galulja. I'll find him and we'll have a good talk. We continue south, it seems. Let's keep our eyes peeled as we make our way. The only, the that he thinks this area is like a home to him? Oh, what is that? Asterodia? Asterodia? <laughs> um, okay. Ouch. Ooh. Ooh, there's an area over there I can't, I don't think I can get to. Oh, it's that. Wait, is it that? Okay. New area! Ooh, that means I can go get Aether Currents in this place. You're taking a break from trying to write this paper. Nice sparkly pony. I wanted to match the area. It's a light, my lightning pony. My Ramu pony. How's the paper going? All right, is he over here? Whoa! Whoa! It's like a whole town. Whoa, what? Oh, there's an aetherite over there. Whoa, what's that? What the heck? Whoa, what is that over there? Look at these buildings. Oh, it looks like there used to be an aetherite here. Hmm. 
10 pages? Wow, that's a lot. It's a town. Oh, it's all under Some of it's underwater. And half of it is submerged. The architecture looks nothing like what we've seen so far. It's more Charlian. Wait, Charlian? Ah, huh, there he is, among the ruins. Maybe it's because, maybe this is like where an area was, but you know how they said it just kept thunderstorming and raining? So that's probably why this area is flooded. I only caught a glimpse, but there's no mistaking that tiny silhouette. Let's hurry after him. It'd be a disaster if a building collapsed while he was inside. Okay. I got new hand gear. What does it look like? Ooh, the music. Hi, Salvation. Hello. All right. Drowned vestiges. I only saw him for a moment before he disappeared behind a building, but I'm pretty sure Galuja was headed further south. I'll contact LSA on Link Pearl and let her know to join us. Away we go! Look at that! Look! Wah! I guess that's a place where the lightning strikes. So he didn't go over here, he went over here. Cool. Music just adds to the enjoyable experience. It does, doesn't it, Ian? Archeo Alexandria. gonna be a place where we can rebuild kind of like where the firmament was that'd be cool can we rebound rebuild the Archeon Alexandria maybe not that'd be cool wow look at that it's just like a giant storm in one area This is the area, but the canals and debris make it hard to get a good view. Let's split up and search. If you could head into the canals, I'll make my way through the streets. When we find Galulja, let's watch from a distance until he gets to his destination. Wouldn't want to startle him and cause an accident. True. Okay. Interesting town. Mute. Oh, right that part. I 
wonder if he was found here when they first found him. He located Gluljaw. Follow him quietly without being noticed. Oh no. I'm the worst at these missions. <laughs> they always spot me. And it's always at the very last minute because I think like, oh, I'm safe. And then like I get spotted at the very like last few seconds. And then I'm like, are you kidding me? All right. Gotta follow him from a safe distance. All right, stalk the baby. We are literally stalking the baby. Hold on, I'm gonna hide. So I can't, how do I hide? Oh God, oh dear. Oh, he speaks. See what I mean? <laughs> Darn it! Stupid! Stop laughing, Todd! Freaking! <laughs> why are you so far away? What do you mean, why am I so far away? How, where else am I? Oh, can I go up here, maybe? <laughs> Shut up! This guy is ruining the vibe. Here, I'm gonna get caught. I'm gonna wait for this Hrothgar to finish, because I don't want... I don't want to do it at the same time as other people, because it feels weird. It's like, I'm stalking the baby, not you! I'm gonna wait. <laughs> Unless I can make him invisible somehow. <laughs> Whenever I do this... Yeah, it's breaking my immersion! I get on the biggest mount I have possible. No, you don't. <laughs> and you do it. What is my biggest mount? I think this is, wait, which one? This one's probably my biggest mount. <laughs> you can't see me in this. <laughs> Being on a mount is easier. Yeah, true. That's so funny, though. Alright, let's try this again. Hopefully that guy doesn't fail. Okay. That is so funny, though. Hold on. I kind of want to do that. He won't see me. Clearly. Look at this. He won't see me behind these pile of rocks. Oh. Come in my white van, little child. Oh god, there's a thing, there's a, there's a monster up there. Uh. Okay, he won't, he won't notice me. Oh. <laughs> oh, he didn't notice me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming. Can I go to the opposite side, or should I stay here? Can I go up here? Darn it. I don't know when he's gonna turn around. Okay, perfect. Alright. This is actually kinda good, I get like a vantage point <laughs> from all the way up here. La 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 la. Don't mind me. Oh, oh, he's running now. He's a running. He's a runner. Oh. Oh god. <laughs>
Oh, we did it. Okay. <laughs> it's more fun that way. I like it. What is this house? He's come a long way on such short legs. It's a relief he didn't get hurt. For real. Thanks, Leslie. What's here, I wonder? Yeah, like, why here? Oh. He's so cute. <gasps> oh, they're little squirrels! So he's looking after those little ones. What are they called? Nut nutkins, I think. Aww. He's so sweet. He's such a kind Roger. child. <gasps> oh my. What? What the heck? A sentry? Oh. Run, Galuja, run. You know the boy. Who are you? And what do you want? Oh, it's his protector. <laughs> Oh, that's how he's been able to go. I see. Oh God, <laughs> that scared me though. Oh, it's not bad. My name is Wuklamat, and I've come to talk to Gulurja. Is that so? Yes. What in the world? I'm sorry if I scared you. I want to get to know you better. That's all. And you, my boy, do you wish to speak with them? He's gonna say no. I heard them talking. She said she's going to kill my father. Oh, he speaks. What the heck? Villains! I will deal with them forthwith! Whoa! But... Oh, judgmental much? <laughs> I... I want to get to know her, too. Aww. Precious baby. Villains! <laughs> I see. If that is your desire, then I shall stand aside. He looks different than the other sentries. All right, then. Let's talk, you and I. Lots. But, uh... Who's the ancient-looking and articulate machine? If I look ancient, it is because I am. This has been my vessel for no less than 380 years. Shut up, Todd. I know he's taller than me. Stop it. This is cool. What? The voice sounds familiar. Does he voice act some other stuff? He sounds familiar. Vessel. Otis is my friend. Otis? When I was hungry and sad, he came and looked after me. What? The sad? He His name is Otis? And teaches me all kinds of things. He cooks for you? Like, how to read and write and... and not be noticed by dangerous creatures. Oh, I love that. Oh my god. He's already on mod. Oh wait, no, he's not on modded. Freaking chill! <laughs> it lasted longer, though. Um... Oh, that's sweet. He's like his own nanny. This machine cooks for you. Wait, is this machine from Final Fantasy IX? Aw, I love him. Otis. And teaches you about fiends. What is he exactly? Ah, how remiss of me. 
I have neglected to introduce myself. Sir Otis Valona, Lord Captain of the Royal Knights of Alexandria, at your service. Sir Otis Valona. He's similar to a Final Fantasy IX character. Oh, he is? You're Captain of the Knights? You've been functioning for nearly 400 years? You seem different from other machines. What's your story? Let's do 400 years. He's no- he knows some stuff. Maybe we can get some answers. <laughs> and there I thought it was Kuluja with whom you wish to speak. Not that I'm averse to taking a walk down memory lane. He sounds like a real but person. I kind of like his mom. Aaronville's mom. Emil, here. I hate to turn down food, but I prefer to have this conversation in the back room. Please, I'm really hungry. All right, all right. A repast it is. So cute. So cute. She's going to spoil her nephew, silly. <laughs> I'll send word to Erinville so the others can stop worrying. Now, if I might prevail upon your assistance, I shall whip up my most delectable specialty. What is it gonna be? Hmm, I've never played Final Fantasy IX, so I don't know who that is. But that's interesting. This is making me want to play Final Fantasy IX. So, my new friends, I would enlist your aid in procuring the ingredients for our repast. After all, the most enjoyable me meals are those we make together. We're happy to pitch in, of course. What ingredients did you have in mind? First of all, some yam and pumpkin. The people of the outskirts should be willing to share their harvest. If you and Galulja could go and speak to them. Sure, I'll ask for the cast cast-offs too as well. As usual. Alright, um, as for Miss and Alice, I would be obliged if you could procure some woolback meat. The creatures can be found grazing on the slopes outside of town. As beef is less readily available, their flesh makes for a good substitute. That of the younger ones especially, as it is more tender and less gamey. Consider it done. We'll be back with the meat before you know it. Thank you kindly. In the meantime... I shall see to the other preparations. Okay. Cool. Let's go kill some... What are they? area wait where am I going down there oh what was that oh there's Alice eh? oh there's the wool bags oh here it's so tiny Young one? Pretty big. Hi, Ben. Thank you. The robots in general also remind me of Vivi a bit. Another character I know of, but don't know anything about. It's okay, one of these one of these days I will play Final Fantasy VIII and Final Fantasy IX, and then I'll know. One of these days. 
I don't know what I'm gonna be playing after Final Fantasy 14. Like after I do the, after I finish MSQ, I'm gonna need some other stuff to play. Um, I can't remember what's gonna come out. I know in September, but it's the end of September is, is the new Legend of Zelda. I'll have to figure out what else I'm gonna play. I don't think that would give me enough time for eight and nine. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> What's this? Am I to understand that you have already procured the meat? Here you go. Good heavens! You have and such a choice cut it is besides. Tis plain you know how to handle yourself in battle. Were it four hundred years ago, I would have recruited you to the Royal Knights. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Drown heavy. Ooh, new shoes. It has more confu some confusing gameplay mechanics though. I've heard. That's why I'm kind of in both eight and nine, I'm kind of intimidated. Ooh, I like those shoes. Kind of intimidated by both of them, to be honest. I had help when I played 10. And I had help when I played 7. I'm assuming I could ask for help for 8 and 9, but... <laughs> Memories of a night. This might be the last quest we do for today before I take a lunch break. Um, and then we're also going to play another game today. Um, it's a new game that came out called Magic... Oh, I forgot it. Magic... What was it called again? Magic... I want to say Magically Delicious, but it's Magical Delicacy. There we go. <laughs> Almost. Does that mean I should play them first because I haven't either? Uh, yeah. Yeah, do it! <laughs> Once Alice brings her portion, we shall have a glorious bounty to satisfy growing younglings like yourself. Indeed, I expect there will be ample leftovers to share with the good folk of the drift, drift Downs. They'll always, they always appreciate a warm meal. Now, seeing as you have completed your task so quickly, I have another request to make of you. We've exhausted our supplies of kindling electro, and I should be grateful if you could search the houses yonder for more. In the Old Kingdom, electro rations were issued to each citizen, while small fragments may still be found here and there. If you can obtain five pieces, say, at least one ought to be what we require, that is. The kind that converts lightning to fire. Gulja can identify them by their circuitry, so pray take them to take them to him. The boy has become a quite has become quite deft at discerning electro types, and in a very short time, I might add. Now off you go, and happy foraging. Alright, let's go forage for some electrobes. How do I get up there? Hmm. Ooh, aether current. I'll come back. Yeah, play play Final Fantasy eight uh, or well, you should probably pick one. <laughs> I don't know. I think eight. When I asked a long time ago, people were more it, when it was between eight and nine. I think eight had more votes. Not that it matters, but I think eight had more votes than nine. But this makes me want to play nine. I don't know. Darn you! Trying to get my freaking eighth current. Coughing <coughs> so much today. There we go. Nice. 
process electro. Traditional eight continues pushing into the seven direction of a more futuristic setting. Huh. Okay. Here you go. Otis says you have electro for me. Here you go. He's so cute. Wow, you found a lot. Let's see. This one creates wind. This one is for water. You can tell just like that? I'm impressed. Clever, isn't he? I'll bet he gets it from his father. Ah, this is it. This converts to fire. It's absorb absorbed lots of lightning, so we could be we should be able to kindle a flame easily. Thank you. Thanks to your kind assistance, we have everything we need for our repast. You have done your part, and now I shall do mine. I bid you relax, my friends. The meal will soon be served. Mm. Is he making tacos? Probably soup. Good soup. This is the kind of thing families do, Gululja. We have meals together and talk about what's on our minds. So you ate with your father? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, with them and my brothers. It was mostly the head of Resolve and I doing the talking, though. Oh, it's cute. Kona and the head of Reason occasionally joined in, and Zoral just spoke when he was spoken to. You said that you have two papas. Does that mean one is yours and one is my father's? No, no, both are our father. He's just, he's what people call blessed siblings, a mamulja with two heads. Zorulja is his true born child, while Kona and I were adopted and don't share the same blood. But that doesn't make us any less a family. What matters is that our hearts are connected. The Head of Resolve taught me that. Family. Do you have someone like that too? A person you think is family even though you don't share the same blood? That's a good question. What about you? <laughs> she just passes it on to me. Aw, I do, and they're very dear to me. I'd like to meet them one day. Who am I referring to? Oh, who am I talking about? <laughs> um... This, all the scions? I could be the scions. It could be a certain mother-like person. I don't want to say anything because spoilers, but... So, Galulja, I'm hoping that we could be family, you and I. 
Won't you tell me about yourself? Could be like, I have so much family though, to be honest. You really want to know about me? I do, I want to know all about you. The things you love, the things you hate, anything and everything. Cute. I want to know all about you too. I wish this was cuts, I wish this was a cutscene, like with voice acting. Uh, that reminds me, we were hoping to hear your story too, Otis. As you wish, be forewarned that mine is a tale that will be long in recounting. It was before lightning had altered the world that I was appointed Lord Captain of the Royal Knights. Whoa, before lightning. We're talking hundreds of years prior to the calamity, right? Indeed, earlier still than what when I assumed this mechanical form. 454 years ago, to be precise. Well, what? 454 years ago? Then you used to be a normal person? Oh, yes! I was once flesh and blood like you and proudly served as a knight of Alexandria. So rather than a machine that behaves like a person, you were, are an actual person. How is this possible? It's only natural that you are confused. Hear my tale to the end and all shall become clear. Interesting. Does that mean all the other centuries are people too? Just, or maybe not. The foremost duty of the royal knights was the protection of the royal family. In my time, that was their majesties, the king and queen, and their only child, her highness, the princess. By then, every nation of our star was embroiled in some manner of conflict over Electrobe. Thus was my kingdom drawn into a war with its neighbor. I wonder if this princess he's talking about is... I'll, I'll, I'll keep going. Cause it's only one princess anyways that war was the catalyst for the great calamity that altered the environment oh that was the catalyst right countless countrymen lost their lives and missed the chaos the king and queen among them for a blessing we were able to protect the princess who then rose to the occasion and brought hope to her people in those trying times so kind-hearted was our young queen that, at her behest, we even took in refugees from the enemy nation. Uh, it sounds like the same person. Or Sphine. It sounds like Sphine. Interesting. But sadly, her reign was cut short. Oh, never mind. Like many others, her body had been ravaged by lightning and one day she collapsed and passed away. How tragic. Never mind. I, Neri, was there a citizen whose eyes remained dry and many a moon was spent constructing a great tomb worthy of her memory. Yet I clung to hope still. For a while, Her Majesty was on her deathbed. The kingdom's finest scientists had successfully extracted her soul. Oh. Maybe it is. Sphine. Did, did we hear that right? Extracted her soul? Our flesh may wither and die, but so long as we are remembered, we may live on. This age-old belief had always comforted our people, but as casualties mounted in the wake of the calamity, we sought to make it into reality through the power of Electrobe. Oh, shoot. In time, we succeeded in developing the means to preserve the soul, and it was used to spare the queen eternal death. Yet it wasn't enough to simply prevent the soul's departure, for the ultimate goal was to recreate a person as they were in life, and this required that their memories be further extracted from their soul. 
So this is why it came to be. It took many more years of research to make this possible, by which time I had become a gray old man. With my days numbered, I did not hesitate to volunteer myself as a test subject for the procedure. Ooh, hi, Marley. Soul extracted sounds bad, yeah. So it was that I attained this vessel, and by my successful rebirth, I paved the way for those who are recreated from the memories of the departed. Oh. What? The Endless, they are called. The Endless. If your tale is true, then the queen that your people brought back to life... It would it wouldn't be Sphine, would it? Oh, so you know her majesty as well. Her majesty is old. She hasn't aged a day in her life. My description of her boundless kindness must have paled in comparison to what you no doubt felt in her presence. I haven't met her myself, I confess, not since assuming my current form. Wouldn't want to frighten the living daylights out of her. Haha. Ha. What the heck? <laughs> Everybody's so serious. <laughs> it is a pretty serious topic. So, is she the only one besides him that's had this happen? Try and understand. So she's... Uh, also, his timing confused me. So he's over 400 years old. Right? Or, I can't remember. What did he say? He said... I... Okay, so... Okay, so... At what... When... When did he become a robot? Because he... He sacrificed. But was that before? Or... After the queen had her soul extracted. Maybe they had her soul extracted a long time ago, but they just didn't know how to put it in a vessel, maybe. So that's why he he sacrificed, or not sac, well, I guess sacrificed. He, he became a test subject and it worked. So then, because of him and probably others, he was able or they were able, the scientists were able, to recreate Sphine. Oh, he he was experiment, so it would be after? Okay. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know why the timing confused me. Um, dang. So Sphine is pretty old. At least... I don't even... The thing is, the timeline doesn't com confuses me, but... At least 200 years old, question mark? <laughs> I don't know. Alright. Ugh, the Endless. So all this time, Sphine wasn't alive? Wait, alive? She lives yet, she does not. Tis admittedly a difficult distinction to make. Having inherited the memories of a departed soul, an endless feels, thinks, and acts precisely as that person would. Okay. In that sense, I believe they are alive. The Alexandrians know about this, right? It can't have gone unnoticed that Sphine is perpetually youthful. No one really knows about the endless. People who wear regulators don't even think about death. Oh. Everyone sees that the queen doesn't change, but they just accept it. To them, it's just who she is. Wait, wouldn't the older generation, like the older people that are gonna die of old age, wouldn't, wouldn't they have a say? Like, wouldn't they wanna be like, I wanna be like Queen Sphine, I wanna live forever, I wanna be an endless. Are there endless apart from yourselves? While there should be as many, many endless as those who have died, 
I believe they are limited in where they can exist. Queen Sveen is unique in her ability to appear before you. What? Strictly speaking, I myself am not an endless. Wait, what? I myself am not endless. They are created using memories extracted from a soul, but my entire soul was placed inside a machine. Being inside a machine makes you different how? Right. Uh, while I do not understand, I'm being dropped with information again. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Gears be turning. <laughs> Stop it. While I do not understand the finer points, my life is bound to this vessel. If it breaks down, then it would be over for me, with much like being of flesh and blood. Hardly an endless, unchanging life. I'm sure you'll agree. Oh. It's like the little robot in Stray. Okay, so he has his soul and memories in there, but Sphine only has her memories, AK, that's why she's an endless, and he's not an endless. But he is? But he isn't. Because he can die. Right? Is that... Am I getting it? <laughs> yeah. An endless, unchanging life. I can't help but be reminded of the... Eh? <laughs> what? The what? Who is that again? EA? Who's EA? Electronic art? He's not an endless. He's only alive for this long because of his machine body. But he's lived... But he's lived a long time, so he's doing good. I'm guessing. Oh, the ghost people from Inwalker. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, right, right, right. I think I saw a movie about this. <laughs> he's like the prototype before they develop the whole dissecting memories from souls. Now, he's the prototype? Yeah, before all of that happened. So that's why he has his souls, because they couldn't figure out yet how to extract the memories from the soul. So they just put everything in... And it, yes, but eventually they nailed it. Yeah, he's killing it. But like, how old? I want to know how long he's existed after he became a robot. Did he say? Because I can't rem. The timeline confused me. He threw a 400 year old number and then a 300 year old number, and I'm like, what? Sorry, it confused me. I mean, I guess assuming he lived up to 100. Anyways. Did Kakiwa and the others know about all this? Considering their extensive intelligence gathering, I'd be surprised if they didn't. For now, let's share what we learned with Cryo and Raha. I can't help but have misgivings about this. For real. Memories of a night. Whoa! Oh, thanks, Yava! Oh my god, it's like... <laughs> I haven't heard that saying in so long. Yappa dappa do. I'm not endless. I only live for nine, 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 nine years. <laughs> oh, Aaronville, what are you doing? What's going on? Oh, hey, Rhea, it's Nahe. you. Nahe, is that you? Nahe. Good gods, Ellen Mespia. It's been too long, my friend. Who? Where have you been all these years? What have you been doing with yourself? Hold on. They say Queen Sphine has guests from outside the barrier. That's you, I gather? <laughs> it seems so. I'm looking for my mother. Do you know where she is? Your mother? Sorry, but what was she like again? What? It's Kafkiwa. You know, the one who was too adventurous by half? Who, who journeyed with the Dawn Servant? Oh no. 
Hmm. Her memory is wiped from everybody? It's not ringing any bells. Oh. You can't be serious. Ours was a tiny little village. Surely you remember her. I really don't. It's all a blank. It's backed up in the cloud. Is anyone else here from the village? Hey! Huh? Elanespia? I'm looking for Kafkiwa. Where is she? Wh what's this all of a sudden? Who's Kafkiwa? Woo. This. This cannot be. Memories of the departed are taken away. Oh my god, wait, did his mom die and her memories are put into the robot? No. Is she an endless? honest I kind of I didn't guess that but I did guess that like I guessed another situation of I thought maybe her body was being preserved but she was still technically alive but not really alive and that she was controlling from like maybe her body but this is interesting We'll have to ask Kakiwa what she think or what she knows and if she's been hiding things from us, we need to know why. Because she's also an endless dun 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 maybe. I don't know. How is this how where is this gonna go? I'm not I I can't theorize to where this is gonna go, chat. I can't I don't I'm not there yet. I understand, but I don't understand. <laughs> So the princess is an endless. But she cares about her people. But there's something she's hiding. We don't know what she's hiding. Maybe she's hiding the endless part. But people are dying. I'm gonna stick to my theory of the no birth rate, aka they're they're slowly disappearing. And that she needs more souls so that they don't ever disappear. I don't know. Hmm. And then how is Endless gonna be put into all of this? Interesting. All right, we're gonna we're gonna stop Final Fantasy for today. I'll talk to Otis um, next time I I stream.